Good morning, home builders. We are on day 13 and we're talking about the battle belongs to God. Now, this is a Monday morning devotion without a doubt. This one is perfect for us as we head into the week talking about the battles that we face in life. And we find ourselves in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. This is good stuff. I, lo I love this. We're the King Jehoshaphat's in, in charge at this point. And it said, and he said, hearken ye. This is a prophet of God, by the way. It says, and hearken ye. Uh, all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of the, this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. That's a cool way to do it. Yet yourselves stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. So the situation is, Judah is, has three of the surrounding nations that have a, uh, an alliance with each other to go against to destroy Judah. And King Jehoshaphat, he cries out to the Lord, and he seeks what God would have them to do. There's no way they're going to win. I mean, because they're just grossly outnumbered. So they go to the Lord and the prophet speaks those words that I just said to you. And God says to them, go down there, but you will not have to fight. I will win this fight for you and you will see the salvation of the Lord. And God was there for them. And sure enough, they didn't have to lift their sword and they were completely, their, their enemies were completely defeated in front of them and they were able to uh, see the salvation of God there. Now, sometimes God has us fight. Sometimes God does the, the battle for us. Either way, God is working and God is the one that provides that in our life. We are to be overcomers in this world. We are to uh, we are to seek the Lord and allow Him to fight our battles for us. Now that mean doesn't mean we just sit back all the time. Sometimes He has us engaged. Sometimes He takes care of it in circumstances we could have never dreamed of. But we can know that our Lord is there for us, and He has a way for us to overcome in these different battles. And we find in Ephesians 6, verses 10, 11, says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And I encourage you, as you go through this week, put on the armor of God and watch the Lord fight the battles for you. And I encourage you to just be strong. Today's uh, thought is God has the power to give you victory in your spiritual battle today. Be strong in him. So as you face this week, be strong in the Lord. Hope that's an encouragement to you. It was to me. And I love you guys. Hope you have a great week. We're looking forward to a wonderful week here. Uh, we have the uh, bonfire for the, uh, for the Truth and Training Kids on Wednesday. We have Trunk or Treat on Thursday and then a big family fall thing on Sunday morning. So I hope you'll, you'll come out to any and all of those things. Have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.